This evening the much-anticipated discussion takes place in spite of Trump's repeated attempts to evade it with a litany of justifications. We should take a drug test. Brian, because I don't know what's going on with her, but at the beginning of her last debate, she was all pumped up. I'm willing to take a drug test. I think he should, too. People say he was on performance-enhancing drugs. A lot of people have said that. He's sleeping now, because they want to get him good and strong, so a little before debate time, he gets a shot in the ass. Stay in to discover all the facts as we explore what makes this event so special and highlight the important subjects on the agenda. Today's discussion promises to be spectacular and unlike any we've seen before. Hey, speaking of unhinged, tomorrow is the first presidential debate. And the big controversy is which drugs may be used tomorrow night. And I just... I just want to, you know, state for the, for the record that I have no idea what drugs I will take when I watch the debate, but they will be potent and they will be plentiful. Um. In a historically rare clash of the titans in politics, the first debate between these two formidable candidates is scheduled for June 27 at 9900 PM ET in Atlanta, Georgia. It promises to be a momentous event in American political history. President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump will square off in a debate that could redefine the course of the 2024 presidential election. The stage is set for a debate unlike any other with significant departures from tradition to ensure a focused and uninterrupted exchange of ideas. For the first time in recent memory, the debate will take place without an audience. For an event with such high stakes, this setting removes the effect of audience reactions and allows viewers to focus exclusively on the candidates' words and views. CNN's Jake Tapper and Dana Bash will serve as moderators, guaranteeing an orderly and polite conversation. When a candidate's chance to speak comes around, their microphone will be muffled. It's the first time since 2020 that Donald Trump and Joe Biden are going to come face to face with each other. We don't even know if they're going to shake each other's hands tonight, but Democrats are already trying to get under Donald Trump's skin. Take a look at this video right here. The DNC paid money to buy out five of these billboards here in the Atlanta area, putting up near uh, highways out here, going after Trump for his recent felony conviction. It says, quote, Donald, welcome to Atlanta for the first time since becoming a convicted felon. Congrats or whatever. Well, a conservative nonprofit group is is now hitting back at Biden in his campaign. They're going after him about his border policies and a recent slew of high-profile migrant crimes. Take a listen. He was wanted for murder, but Biden let him in. He's charged with raping and beating Rachel Morin. Joe Biden's open border, a nightmare for American women. A move intended to preserve decorum and avoid disruptions that tarnished earlier discussions, the format of the discussion is well thought out. Separated into 90-minute parts with stringent speaking time constraints, candidates will not make opening remarks. Instead, they will immediately begin answering questions. They will have two minutes for each question, followed by a minute for rebuttal. As their time runs out, red lights will flash to ensure that the rules are observed. Campaign personnel are not allowed to speak with the candidates during the two commercial breaks during the debate. This separation preserves the candidate's integrity and avoids mid-debate coaching. This debate is extremely important for both Biden and Trump. For President Biden, it's a chance to prove to the American people that, at 81 years old, he can still handle the demands of a second four-year term. He faces doubts about his age and stamina, and this debate is his chance to dispel those concerns. For Donald Trump, it's a chance to persuade voters that, following a four-year break marked by his unpredictable and frequently controversial statements, Biden's characterization of Trump as unpredictable and dangerous must be countered with a more composed and presidential performance from him in order to win over undecided voters. We hope that these moderators, who both have a long history of anti-Trump statements, will put those aside to, again, focus on the issues that matter to the millions of people who will be tuning in tonight. We hope they will ask Joe Biden why he lied to CNN's face on the debate stage in 2020 about the existence of the Hunter Biden laptop. And we hope that they will focus on inflation and immigration, because poll after poll right. shows us that both of those issues are the number one and two issues in this country right now. Uh Although presidential debates have always been able to influence elections, this one is particularly more significant because of its time and the particular circumstances surrounding it. The fact that a sitting president and a former president will debate head-to-head -head before the party conventions is a first that will undoubtedly add intrigue and intensity to the proceedings. CNN has not revealed the specific topics of the debate, but it is expected to cover a wide range of important issues that are on American voters' minds. The conversation is anticipated to be dominated by a few important concerns.
Given that immigration is a contentious topic, both candidates will probably discuss their plans for border security and immigration reform. I had the safest border in the history of our country. Now we have the worst border in the history of our world. He was an illegal migrant and he shouldn't have been in our country and he never would have been under the Trump policy. Former President Donald Trump in a surprise call to the black American business leaders roundtable in Georgia, saying his conviction and this mugshot are helping his appeal to black voters. Here's what he said. That's the word he used. And he sent a fundraising email out this week, uh, which criticized how he was treated there. It said, Mayor, I want you to remember what they did to me. They tortured me in the Fulton County Jail and, all caps, took my mugshot. Um, what's your response to that? I mean, again, this... While Trump will criticize them and further his hardline stance on abortion rights, Biden will stand up for the programs of his government. The discussion takes place at a time when the country is sharply split on abortion rights in the wake of the conservative Supreme Court's ruling to reverse Roe v. Wade. Biden is anticipated to promote reproductive rights, while Trump is probably going to emphasize how he helped to form the present Supreme Court. Many people have asked me what my position is on abortion and abortion rights. My view is now that we have abortion where everybody wanted it from a legal standpoint, the states will determine by vote or legislation or perhaps both. And whatever they decide must be the law of the land. In this case, the law of the state. Many states will be different. Many will have a different number of weeks or some will have more conservative than others. And that's what they will be. At the end of the day, this is all about the will of the people. You must follow your heart of this issue. But remember, you must also win elections to restore our culture and, in fact, to save our country, which is currently and very sadly a nation in decline. The criminal conviction of Trump, it is inevitable that Trump's recent criminal conviction in a hush money case will spark controversy. Biden will likely exploit this to cast doubt on Trump's suitability for president, while Trump will likely brush the conviction off as an assault driven by politics. Hunter Biden's court cases, it is anticipated that Trump would bring up Hunter Biden's legal troubles in an effort to question Biden's integrity. In response, Biden will have to stand up for his family and shift the conversation back to substantive issues. The candidate's economic plans will be scrutinized because many Americans are suffering from high prices and economic instability. Concerns about the candidate's advancing age and capacity to serve will be discussed. Biden will contend that his administration has worked to stabilize the economy, while Trump will highlight his prior economic successes and pledge a return to prosperity. To reassure voters, each candidate will need to exhibit vigor and proficiency. Biden's getting ready President Biden has been thoroughly prepared for this discussion at Camp David by attending briefings and simulated debates. He is getting ready by anticipating Trump's erratic assaults and practicing his retorts. Making a good impression in the opening half of the debate, according to Biden's staff under the direction of seasoned debate strategist Ron Klan, is crucial to winning. To that end, Biden intends to emphasize his key issues early on and demonstrate his readiness to lead. Forget this, uh, CNN actually flipped a coin and the winner got to pick if they wanted the left or right podium. <laughs> Biden won the coin toss and elected to be on the right side of the screen. That's great for all the voters who are like, I don't like what you stand for, but I like where you're standing. <laughs> Yep, Biden chose to be on the right, although chances are he'll just wander until he hits something screwed into the ground. <laughs> In contrast, Trump's preparedness. Trump's approach to preparation has been less conventional. Instead of doing typical mock debates, he has relied on his instincts in public rallies. Trump's approach is to capitalize on his close ties to his supporters and his capacity to assess and respond to his rivals instantly. He has, however, attended policy refresher courses on aides and possible presidential candidates, including Florida Senator J.D. Vance and Ohio Senator Marco Rubio Biden's proposition. The main task facing President Biden is to allay age-related worries and show that he still possesses the vitality and intelligence needed for the president. He must also avoid any senior moments that can exacerbate skepticism about his capacity. Trump's job is to remain composed and refrain from the types of outbursts that have in the past contributed to Biden's picture of him as unpredictable and unsuitable for government. For Trump to win over people who are still unsure, he has to project an image of stability and credibility. This debate's importance goes beyond the upcoming election stakes. This argument may be among the most important in U.S. history given the unheard of political climate of the day. Trump's insistence on implementing drastic measures if re-elected and his unwillingness to acknowledge the outcomes of the 2020 election ed gives the proceedings more gravitas.
Biden intends to portray Trump's actions as a direct threat to democracy and the rule of law. He will probably draw attention to the attack on the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2021, as a pivotal moment that highlights the perils of a Trump presidency. For those anxious to attend this historic discussion, Biden has the opportunity to further establish his claim that the fundamental nature of the republic is at stake. CNN will have a live coverage of it and more networks like CBS casting it as well. Furthermore, the discussion will be broadcast live online at CBS News and Send.com around the clock, guaranteeing that those without cable access may watch as well. The following discussion between Biden and Trump will be facilitated by ABC News on September 10. A vice presidential debate is also planned, either on July 23 or August 13. As the Biden team has already accepted an invitation from CBS News, there is a lot of excitement about this debate. Outside the borders of the United States, foreign observers in major cities like Moscow, Beijing and Delhi will be anxiously monitoring the decision, since it may have global repercussions. As the clock runs down to the first presidential debate between Joe Biden and Donald Trump, the stakes could not be higher. This is not just a clash of political rivals, rather, it is a confrontation that embodies the deep divisions and high stakes of contemporary American politics. Both candidates will be under intense pressure to give strong performances for Biden, who wants to prove his viability and competence, and for Trump, who wants to project himself as a stable and credible leader, capable of winning a second term. Millions of Americans will watch a political showdown that could very well determine the future direction of the United States in a race marked by unprecedented challenges and high-stakes confrontation. This debate is just the beginning for the candidates. There are still many debates and campaign events to come. For now though, all eyes are on Atlanta, where history is about to be made as Biden and Trump prepare to take the stage. The country holds its breath, ready to witness a debate that could change everything in the 2024 presidential election. In, in the USA right now, in the midst of a presidential campaign, which is proving to be pretty divisive, uh, you've declared your backing Donald Trump. I have nothing to say of him. I am proud to announce my endorsement of Donald J. Trump for President of the United States. America is struggling, and we need someone who knows what they're doing to help us back up. Vote like your life depends on it, or vote like your children's lives depend on it. Because they do. Lady Gaga also changed her Twitter banner and avatar to a photo of herself wearing a hat with a vote button.